Good morning, West Heights Community Church, or good afternoon or good evening, whatever time of day you are seeing this. Let me just say, hi, it's good to see you. Glad that you are, are checking out our YouTube channel. Um, make sure that you, you're subscribed. Obviously, you're paying attention to this. Uh, make sure you also turn notifications on so that you know, you get informed when a new video is, is uh, released. Uh, we don't, would hate for you to miss out on something here. I'm coming to you live from my backyard. Uh, we, we love this place. It's a good little backyard and we are enjoying it. And even this weekend, we started to do some things like planting some uh, or getting some uh, vegetable beds ready to be planted later on next month uh, but it's a good place to be and uh, I think we're rediscovering it during this this time of isolation um, we're discovering some of the good things that we have and, and let me invite us to be seeing this disruption this vi the disruption that this virus is bringing to our lives as an opportunity to d discover some new things now, one of the things that we might discover uh, is the meaning and significance behind Easter in some new and fresh ways. Uh, Good Friday and Easter will be happening differently than we're used to. Obviously, we won't be able to meet in person, um, but we will be having Good Friday and Easter services uh, here on YouTube, 1030 for both of those services. And uh, because we aren't going to be able to, able to do things the way that we normally would, this definitely is an opportunity for us to uh, look at this differently and to be thinking differently about, you know, where is God in our circumstances and what is the death and resurrection of Jesus mean in the world that we live in? And so this is an opportunity for a different level of reflection to take place. Now, uh, practically speaking, for Good Friday, let me encourage you to have some bread and some juice ready and available at the beginning of the service. We want to be able to celebrate communion together. Uh, communion is a powerful uh, example of the fact that we are not isolated and alone, but because of Jesus, we have been brought into a new family. And across the world on Good Friday, uh, other followers of Jesus uh, will be joining with us or will be joining with them in celebrating Jesus' death. Um, and so please have those elements ready. And as a little bit of a fun thing, if you could take a picture of your communion setup before the communion service takes place, uh, that would be great because we'd like to put together a picture collage to show on, on Easter Sunday to illustrate how the fact, to illustrate the fact that despite us being isolated, we are not alone. Hey, did you just hear the airplane go over my head? Because it was kind of loud down here. Anyways, I'm going to keep going and hope that you heard me just fine. And then on Easter Sunday, we're going to get together again and we're going to celebrate using musical worship and uh, we're going to just reflect again on the meaning of the resurrection and what does that mean for us and for life now and, and for how that gives us hope in our current circumstances. And so we're excited about being able to be together, looking forward for you um, to have you a part of that. And so uh, please make sure that you're, you're there, you're ready. And uh, in bet between now and then, we're praying for you. I uh, encourage you to be making phone calls and checking in on each other. Uh, we, we're discovering new ways to love and support one another through this. And so uh, keep leaning into that. Anyways, West Heights, thanks. Bye.